Hi, this is your host Akash. In this class, I will show you some basic steps in Illustrator CC. So let's start the class. Click on new file. First, rename this new document. You can change these documents width and heights as pixel and points and pickers and inches, feet and inches also and yards, millimeters and meters. In this class, we will select pixel and the width will be 1920 pixel and height will be 1080 pixel. This is the part we called bleed so that we can maintain the work area while we will design. If you uncheck the link, then the bleed will be effective only on the top. You can see when we put 20 pixel bleed, on the top then left bottom and the right is not changing automatically but if you check the link then other three parts will be effective automatically color mode will be cmyk if your design is only meant for printing you can select rgb if your design is only for the web you can change the raster effects as high or medium and then just hit create as you can see in the bleed the red border around your artboard even though your design is within the artboard when you print it part of the edges might still be cut off bleeds can prevent cutting of the actual artwork because they will be trimmed off instead of the artboard edges so it protects your design go to file new document more settings you can rename this new document then you can select the profile print profile is for print job type of design web mode is web type of design and there is mobile mode also when you are click on those option you will find a default width and heights measurement this time i will show you how to select mobile layout i am selecting the iphone 10 you can see we have a default measurement here you can also add some bleed here make sure you have checked the link Color mode will be RGB of course because we don't need to print a mobile wallpaper design. Basically we used mobile wallpaper for only mobile. RGB is the best color mode for any device. Raster effects will be high of course and then please hit create. If you can't find this option bar just go to window then workplace then Hit on Essential Classic. Your option bar will be appear here. This is our type tool. Please select it so that we can write something here. You can change the font style from here. After changing the style, please click on this artboard so that you can write something. You can increase the font size by clicking here. Write TEXT, please. After that, please select this selection tool so that we can enlarge the text. Hold left button and drag to the right to increase the size. And hold left key to move the text in the middle of this artboard. Double click on this text and select all text so that we can change the text color. We can also decrease the opacity if you need it to be less visible. But this time we don't need to reduce the opacity. You can also add some stroke here also you can increase the stroke points 
click inside of this artboard so that you can get rid of stroke points edit mode and also so that the new stroke is effective now please click on edit then preference then general and please check on zoom with mouse wheel now you can zoom in or out by using the mouse wheel now only the wheel will not work anymore if you don't set up this right all you have to do just hold your option or alt button and use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out and now if your artboard is not properly fitted with the display then just hit ctrl 0 or command 0 so this is our selection tool and we can just move the text anywhere in this artboard and this is our rectangle tool we can draw a shape in this artboard by this tool just hold left key of your mouse and drag to the right that shape will be created you can also change the color and the stroke size color and opacity and here is our direct selection tool just select the tool and select the shape just like i selected you can see there is four little points just hold your left key and drag to the left to make the square shape into round isn't it wonderful now we will save our document go to file then save and now please select your folder Click right to create a folder. Folder name will be class 2. This time we will save this as AI file. Sometimes your clients will ask for a EPS file. Same way you can save this file as EPS go to file and save as copy and select TPS option and now hit ok if you want to save this file as picture please go to file and export then please hit export as then change the type as jpg then hit export color mode will be cmyk and the quality will be maximum of course and then resolutions will be high hit ok and you can also save this file as png just follow my steps please Now you can check your saved files, you can close your illustrator file and reopen again the AI file or the IPS file.
if you can't find layers panel you can bring it back from the window option go to window then click on layers so this is our layers panel you can expand it by clicking on this arrow key you also can switch off any layers visibility you can also close the properties and library and move the layers panel to the top you can move the sidebar also you can enlarge the layers panel by drag it to the bottom now you can select the type tool and increase and write something and change the color you can select the rectangle tool and draw shape also you can change the shape color and stroke color size select the star tool and draw more star shape in the artboard for practice you can see so many layers we have created we can switch it off and on You can change the color from here also. Select the selection tool and move these shapes in the artboard. You can change the stroke color here and increase the stroke size a little. And if you draw a shape, now your shapes will be created with a stroke. So dear guys, don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell icon so that you will notify about our every new classes and please don't forget to hit the like button and please leave a comment thank you very much